was going on? <laughs> so there. It's cold. No, oh, no way. We in heaven? Hell? How did I get here? Purgatory? God, freezing. Oh look, he, he has both hands, all fingers. And a ring. Shit! My body. Wait, hold on, is Ethan a bioweapon too? Was he an experiment? Messing with my head. You shouldn't be walking. Bro, you! <laughs> what, what am I? I, 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 I did all that. <laughs> Rose. Mia. Now do you get it? <laughs> Your whole body is nothing but mold. <laughs> you can't ever see your family again. Are we in the Duke's carriage? At last, he awakes. Where am I? My carriage, Ethan. You were having a nightmare. Duke? Your battle with Heisenberg was a sight to see. But to think Miranda would show herself. How long have I been out? Not long till dawn. Duke, I need a favor. 
Uh, take me to Miranda. I assumed as much and am already on the way. We should arrive shortly. Thank you. <laughs> but Ethan, are you sure of this? Your body is, well, falling apart. Yes. Foolish of me to ask. Speaking of foolish questions, who, what are you? <laughs> Even I can't quite answer that. We're here. I owe you one. Mr. Winters, I'm afraid you can't return to your old world any longer. Are you ready? Yeah. I have to be. I gotta go. Oh my god, okay. Damn guys, what a rough ride. Literally and figuratively. So, hold on. We've been dead since the Baker incident? We're the mold? We've been fighting our own kind? Was that a nightmare? Um. I still have my weapons. Guess I should swap out. I mean, I'm gonna miss Chris. First aid, man. I guess I should probably collect whatever I can. Maybe talk to this guy one last time. Duke's Emporium has everything you need for your decisive battle. You know what sucks? I never got the last two fish that I needed to complete the the recipe. Now that I think about it, I just needed one. Your journey nears its end. How about some reckless spending to finish it off? Long barrel. I don't have much to be honest. What do I have to sell? I mean, that doesn't make sense. Okay, actually, yeah, it makes sense. Mechanical heart. This doesn't make sense because Chris collected it. How the hell does. Um. No, see, yeah. This was collected, I believe, by uh, Chris. Oh, the assemblage of life and machine. I can feel Lord Heisenberg's essence through it. Delighted to. God, did you leave this to me? Should I upgrade the shotgun since it does the most damage in the first place? It's the one I use the most. One moment, please. Oh, actually, I should have upgraded the Magnum. Ah, oh, crap. I messed up. <laughs> it's all good. It is what it is. One like moment, this, please. Let me use all this ammo. I feel like we're at the end already. This is endgame stuff. Choose wisely. Your life may depend on it. The meat. Bits and bobs. I see. Oh, it's not enough. Lock picks, we have two of them. What can I sell that will be enough for a uh, thousand? I need like I need at least two thousand. And I could uh to think I would buy by the last things. upgrade. Okay, hold on. I'm gonna sell the four flashbangs. Little and often fills the purse, as they say. Alright. It's just one bullet, but I think it'll do just to fully upgrade my uh capacity. This simple modification can be done in just a moment. And the rest, I'm assuming I'm just gonna do it over time. Please be well. Thanks. I will try. Thanks, Duke. For the best. Oh man, you guys, this is it, the grand finale. The moment we were not waiting for, but apparently we got caught in it. So, 
They have to go all in. I can't even run. All I can do is just walk and watch as the whole freaking village falls apart. To meet our demise, that it is. I didn't do anything. The fact that I still have to scooch back is so dumb. <laughs> this pistol needs more uh, firepower. I should have bought that other one, but it's all good. Ah, uh, this reminds me of when we fought uh, the last boss in Resident Evil 7. I guess technically the Ultra Mode. Uh, little Ava, my beautiful daughter. Come to me. Eva. Is that you? Crap, this is it, you guys. You disposed of my false children and awakened the glorious existence. Now, please do not worry, to little rose. I assure you, I'll provide her with So now you can die peacefully. Oh, well, let me use the Magnum. What the hell? I have it for a reason. Not a way. Can you deny me? Why the hell did you realize Rose is my goddamn kid, not yours? Cease this foolishness. The Metamycete saved me from the pits of despair. It granted me this splendid power. Yeah, right. All it's done is drive me nuts. Of course she takes the most damage. <laughs> Oh crap. Look at her being OP. Man, this reloading sucks. <laughs> oh, I can't believe I hit. Die and be swallowed into the metamyce for all time! Jesus Christ, I've already used like how many freaking Magnum bullets and she's still not dead? I don't know if she's dead or not. Oh, come on. <laughs> She'd be playing out here. Now, Mr. Winters, I think it's time you let me into my house. Oh, yes, now. The hell I will. Die, 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 die. <laughs> I will take back my daughter.
I think I spent all game trying to look for treasures, all the loot, all the guns possible. More than I tried saving Rose. <laughs> does it take to kill this lady? Jesus. After all, everyone dies. Mother Miranda's OP. Now this is standard, you guys. It's not even Shadow uh, Village of Shadows or whatever you call it. Shadow of Village. Why do you interfere? Surely you have no means now. So close. She's my goddamn daughter. You psycho. Will not let anyone else take Rose for my job. Here I come. Oh, come on. Get all the damage I took. I can take low. any Oh my god. Alright, time for the shoddy. Oh, you know what? I forgot about the grenade launcher. Oh, I think the problem might be you, Miranda. You're not capable of real love. No way she takes this much damage. What am I doing wrong? I'm wasting all my ammunition. I only have like six more uh, rifle bullets. Oh shoot. I put my controller down. Wasn't even done. <laughs> Do I have infinite ammo? Moral of the story, don't have kids. <laughs> Ethan! Ethan! Come on, Ethan. Come on, Ethan, wake up. Chris. Ethan. You did it. It's finished. I think we've finished each other. Ethan. We gotta move. I like how in the end they still don't show us his face. Keep moving, Ethan. There's a bomb in that thing that'll blow this whole village sky high. Hey, look at me. When I hit this trigger, we can't be anywhere near it. 
Ah, damn it. Me is waiting for you. She's alive, you hear me? Alive. Mia. I'm so sorry. I love you. Keep Rose safe. Hey, hey. Hey. And you tell yourself. Now come on, it's not that much further. Watch over. Huh. Teach her to be strong. Goodbye, Rose Mary. Ethan. Go, take us up now! going on where SAA didn't send soldiers. This is a bioweapon. The hell were they thinking? Orders, Captain. Pick up the rest of the squad. Plot a course for BSAA Europe HQ. guys there it is looks like we finally finished it resident evil village ah there you go village of shadows oh my god that's dope capcom presents so i'm trying to like i'm trying to gather all my thoughts but i don't even know where the hell to start like is the BSAA now like the villains? Are they using bioweapons as well? Is Umbrella the one that's actually trying to clean up the mess? Like, where's everyone? Where's Leon? You know, where's Claire? Uh, I feel like this is also the first time that uh, a main character actually dies. You know, a playable character. Because Resident Evil 1, I mean, I, I haven't played every single Resident Evil game, but I played most of them, at least the main entries for sure. Um, 
Resident Evil 1, you have Chris Redfield and Jill Valentine. Resident Evil 2, you have Leon and Claire. Resident Evil 3, you have Jill. Resident Evil 4, back to Leon. 5 includes uh, Chris Redfield and Sheva. Resident Evil 6 is a story between six characters. Three stories, I guess you could say. And it's Leon, Helena, then you have... Um, what's his face? Chris Redfield. Oh, uh, technically that other guy does die. But I mean, he's not really a main, main character, I guess. Forgot his name. He's always like, Captain! And then you have Jake and Sherry. But for the most part, none of those characters really died. You know, with the exception, obviously, of Chris's partner. But, but I mean, Chris has always had bad luck with, like, partners for some reason. So then we jump over to Resident Evil 7. And we have Ethan, who apparently died from the very beginning. And for some reason, as the mole took over his body, I guess he still lived with a consciousness. Oh, look, that's so badass, the dark horse. I don't know, I'm, I'm just confused. Alright, so knowing Capcom how they are, I might not have the music playing in the background. But I might, who knows, we'll see how that goes. <laughs> um, I don't know what to tell you guys. Like, it's been a crazy, like, adventure. We started off at home, then Mia was killed right in front of our eyes. Apparently that wasn't even Mia, that was Miranda. Then somehow we got dragged into uh, a vehicle which got broken into by Miranda, Rose went missing, Mia has been missing, and we somehow made it back to the village. Well, not back, but to the village. And then from there, it just, it's crazy. I think what's even crazier now is the fact that uh, I thought Lady Dimitrescu was going to be the main villain in this game. I thought she was going to be the last one we would face. Uh, like, Mother Miranda was actually like the main honcho, yet she was the last. She was kind of like the least one we saw, even though she took like many different forms. Technically, we didn't really see much of her. The only time we truly saw her, I think was one, when we got raptured by Heisenberg. And two, when she killed Riza's husband and the wheat farm thingy, I forget what it's called. But yeah, I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I'm, I'm, I'm just confused from the looks of it. I, I can't say for sure Ethan is dead because I don't know what Chris saw that the guy told him to look outside. And then obviously we still need to figure out where Chris falls, you know, because he used to be BSA, BSAA. Now he's Umbrella, but I feel like both of them are just the same thing, just doing things differently. I feel like they both use bioweapons. And I'm assuming that's what Chris wants to stop. Because he hasn't changed. He still cares about the people. I thought he went cold. From how Resident Evil 7 ended and uh, the little glimpse I saw from the DLC, I honestly thought he went cold. Like, or rogue, AWOL, whatever you call it. But, yeah, I don't, I don't know. Let me know in the comments below. What do you think? You know, what do you think of the whole playthrough itself, of the story? Uh, how do you like? Who's your favorite lord? What do you think was the most fascinating area to explore? Um, and let me know above all else. What do you think about the ending? Because 
I feel like there's so many questions and I don't even know how to answer them myself. I'm just trying to like speculate what I could possibly consider possible scenarios, but it's just too much for me to take in. <laughs> so yeah, you guys, um, thank you for watching, supporting the series. Uh, please leave a like if you enjoyed this. Subscribe if you haven't for even more gaming content. Also leave your thoughts down in the comments below and I'll try to respond as best as possible of what you think, your theories, or what you expected of this game. So yeah, um, I guess as always, I'll catch you guys on the next series. Signing off, enjoy the rest of the credits. There might be a cutscene at the end, there might not be, I don't know. Well, we'll see where that takes us. Anyways, take care. think the little boy will be able to touch the moon? Nobody can touch the moon. It's too far away. Wait, what if he has a rocket ship? Uh, okay. Then he can touch it, but it'd be very, very cool. You were being silly. I don't <laughs> think the moon is. You guys, I'm telling you now, at first I thought it was Mia, but now that I look at it, I think that's actually Rose. Hey, Dad. Oh, it is. Wow. Happy birthday. Sorry I missed last week. I have a lot of tests coming up. You know how it is. Talk of the goddamn devil. Duty calls. I love you. She looks just like yeah, her mom. Her. Where else? The day of all days. <clears throat> we have a situation. You're needed, <laughs> Evelyn. Don't you ever call me that again. Whoa, whoa, it's just a joke, Rose. 
can show you things even Chris doesn't know I can do. We have a clear shot. Stand down. I can handle it. She's just a kid. <sighs> Way to keep it together, Rose. You're a lot like him, you know? I know.